Hackers don't even need to break your computers. They can simply trick you or flood our website so no one can get in. Let's see how social engineering and DDoS attacks work. Let's start with distributed denial of services and short DDoS attack. Imagine you are trying to buy a tickets online for a concert, but suddenly the website is completely jammed. Thousands of fake visitors are flooding the site at the same time and you can't get through. This is exactly what happens in DDoS attacks. Hackers use networks of infected computers called portnets to overwhelm our website with traffic. Even big companies and government sites can crash because of this. For example, in 2016, a DDoS attack took down popular websites like Twitter and Netflix for hours. It's like thousands of people crowding a small shop pushing in from every direction while the real customers get blocked. The hackers don't even need to hack the site. They just flood it until it stops working. Next is social engineering. Hackers don't always break computers. Sometimes they attack people instead. This is called social engineering. For example, imagine you get an email that looks exactly like it's from your boss, asking you to urgently send a file or your password. It seems real, right? That's the trick. It looks official, but it's still fake. Or think about a phone call from someone claiming to be a tech support, telling you there is a problem with your computer and asking for your login information. Many people fall for this because it seems trustworthy. Even simple things work. A stranger on social media asking for your personal information or a fake survey promising a free gift. Hackers use these kinds of tricks to steal your money, your data and your accesses. The scary thing is these tricks work a lot more than you would think because they play on your trust, your curiosity and sometimes your fear. Always pause and think before clicking links. Never give out your passwords and double check who is asking. That's the best way to stay safe from social engineering. Cyber threats are always evolving. Some come from the outside, other comes from people you trust more. The more you know, the faster you can stop hackers from stealing your data or causing problem. If you want to learn even more sneakier attacks and how to protect yourself online, comment below. Hit like, share and subscribe. Staying informed could save you and your friends from real online danger. Thank you.